All right, first thing you need to do is download the Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm going to be installing Ubuntu 64-bit, uh, which is Server 21. Um, make sure you don't set any advanced options. It does not work with Ubuntu, so leave this blank. Go ahead and pick your storage device and write to your SD card. Okay, and once that's done, we're going to edit two files directly on the SD card before inserting it into the Raspberry Pi. So go ahead and navigate to your SD card. I'm doing this via terminal. Um, and the first file you're going to want to edit is your network config. You're going to scroll down to this section and uncomment um, everything down to the first access point. And then you're going to set this to be your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. And then the second file we need to edit is the user data. You want to scroll down to the end of this file. And at the bottom, you want to uncomment this run command section. And then you also want to add two commands below it, these right here. And then save this. And now go ahead and insert the C Raspberry Pi and boot it up. All right, so my Raspberry Pi is booted up. Again, I don't have a mouse or a keyboard attached to it. This is a headless setup, so we're going to try to SSH straight into it. So the first thing we need to do to do that is discover where um, the IP address of this Raspberry Pi actually is. So I'm going to be doing that using this nmap command. And I'll have this in the description as well. Um, usually it's going to be one of the newer IP addresses on your network, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one for me. Um, so all I have to do is SSH Ubuntu at this IP and say yes. And the default password is Ubuntu. It should ask you to change this after, but now you should be in your Raspberry Pi without needing any mouse or keyboard. 